Neha Gupta, founder of Empower Orphans and winner of the International Children's Peace Prize. The year before Neha won the Children's Peace Prize, Malala Yousafzai won the same prize, after, and then you know what she went on to do. Neha, she's raised over $1.7 million and touched the lives of over 25,000 children worldwide. She's a student at Pennsylvania State University and dreams of starting an organization on the lines of Doctors Without Borders in support of children's health. Oh, thank you. I'm very short. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone in this room. It is such an honor to be recognized and embraced by the Indian community. Congratulations to all the recipients today that you know you will be well. You will hear about later. Um, and I'm very excited to see all the work and just see how passionate all of them are. All of your accomplishments inspire me so much. Um, the video you just watched briefly touched upon my nonprofit organization, Empower Orphans. The objective of the organization is to drive self sufficiency among orphaned and underprivileged children through education and through healthcare. Over the last 10 years, we have collected almost $2 million and aided 25,000 children, and I can't be more proud to say that. In um, November 2014, as you saw in the video, I was humbled to receive the International Children's Peace Prize, the same award that Malala Yousafzai won in 2013, which was still just you know, unimaginable for me to even think of, and now India abroad. Um, but instead of going into detail about Empower Orphans' accomplishments, I would actually like to just share the lessons that I have learned along the way. The first is conviction for your beliefs and perseverance to pursue a goal. As a very young girl, um, I was nine when I started this, it was very difficult for some of my peers um, to really grasp what I was doing, to you know, understand that um, I was trying to help these underprivileged children who were halfway around the world because I was very young. Um, those years were definitely an uphill battle between trying to gain acceptance and following what I believed in. Though I was often ridiculed and strongly questioned, I continued to pursue my goal. And now it is with great joy that I share how my peers now view Empower Orphans with great pride, excitement, passion, and dedication. In reflection, I feel proud also to have stuck with my heart and persevered. The second lesson is the power of one. Over the years, I have become a strong believer in, that, in the fact that every single person has the ability to make a mark on this world. Age and gender have no bearing, and they never should. Passion comes from within, and it just needs to be mixed with some tenacity. This being said, the third lesson I have learned is about the ripple effect. Imagine throwing a pebble into a pond. The first ripple is small, but then the ripples get larger and larger. Just so is the impact of one person with an idea or a mission that speaks to the heart. If one person can impact two people's lives, and those two people go out and impact four people's lives, and so on and so on, change will continually keep cascading out, starting with that power of one. What I always tell youth is, find a cause that touches your heart, convert your empathy into action, and let those actions ripple out. Now, I plan to continue this ripple effect by creating student-led chapters across the country and world to greatly expand the number of children that we impact. It is my aspiration to become a doctor and run Empower Orphans along the same tracks as Doctors Without Borders. But before I conclude, um, I would like to thank the two most important people in my life, my parents, and who, without them, I would not be standing before you or not be the person that I am today. Thank you for coaching me through the challenges and teaching me to draw strength from these experiences. Thank you so much, India Abroad, for this honor. I feel incredibly, incredibly humbled. Thank you.